Hello everyone, what's up? My Rockstar's crew here, and I'm back here in Ghostopia because they have an Adam's Family 2 event. Now, while I was trying to get my quest done last night from what I didn't finish in the first video, I accidentally did the event unknowingly that, you know, it's whatever. I'm still going to show you how to complete the event. Okay, so when you spawn in, you spawn into this grass area right over here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to walk all the way to this pink and green building over here. This is Fright Kia. And when you do, there will be a postcard type thing right here. It will be right next, right in front of this building. Pick it up. That will trigger the game to navigate you to all the other five postcards. There's one right here. Um, let's go see. Let's go see if I can successfully find the other ones. Where did I... One is at the sewers. Uh... Okay. So it'll direct you, it'll, it will, I can speak, direct you over here to the sewers. There will be a postcard right here. And all you have to do, don't be scared of the water, is just jump. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run all the way down here. And then it's going to take you to this big lily pad downtown, right here, I believe, right here. And there will be another one. Um, and then it's going to take you into the forest to a waterfall. It will be tricky. Um, you will have to navigate yourself around the rocks and try and get to the top of the waterfall. And, um, it is possible, just to let you know, because I did it all. Then, when you're done collecting them, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to reset. It's the easiest thing. Don't even bother running back. Reset. The game will help you and will navigate you to all the postcards. So don't think you have to find them on your own in this humongous map. It's not going to be like that. But they do take up in inventory space. So make sure you have at least six slots available, or else you're going to have to sell something like I did. Then I had to go back and find that item that I sold for a conjuring. So be mindful of that. Um, once you respawn, you're going to want to go... Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, okay. You're going you're gonna to want to go to this reddish house right here. And you go inside. Once inside, you're going to want to walk all the way to the back of the house to this desk. And you're going to want to talk to Mr. Osius. What he will do is he will give you your prize, which is furniture. So we're going to go to my house so that I can show you what you get from Mr. Osius. So now i got to find my house. That's going to be fun. Let's go this way. I'm in a small server, so it should be pretty close, and I think it's right down here. Yes, it's right here. All right. I did do some more things. Um, I, As I said, I finished my quest from the other one, which was not very many. It was basically making furniture uh, and collecting um, ingredients. So... Let me show you the prize stuff. I put it all out in a bedroom here just so you can see. And then I'll rearrange it later. Okay. This is everything that you get. You get this... Whoa. You get this bed. I think the bed is pretty cute. You get this lounge chair. Which you can sit in. Oh yeah. I look cool. Then you got this um, couch. I believe this is this was yes this is the couch and then you have the lounger right here it's too bad that you can't like lay down right you just sit there and then here you have the love seat 
So this is all the furniture that you'll get from Mr. Osius when you talk to him. Once you've collected all six postcards, it's very easy. But you get cute furniture out of it. I think my favorite is the bed and the, um, I want to say the bed and this love seat right here. Those are my favorite ones. So then I'm going to show you guys what else I accomplished. So we're going to go downstairs. I conjured up this little thing right here. Let me show you. It is under water and it is the deserted island counter. I had a ton of these moonstones saved up from mining the pink diamonds. So that's where you can get those. And then um, the sage, what you do is you find the grass-like stuff sticking up and it, when you hover over it, it'll say gather herbs and you click that and you'll get sage. Um, Alright, let's see, what else did I do? Did I do anything in here? Oh, I did, yes. So I did this. This is the... This is the Vicious Vanity. It knows vanity is a sin and it doesn't care. So again, the Moonstone came in handy. Very much in handy. Um, all the ones under neutral are pretty easy to conjure. Very easy, I should say. Alright, so there's that. And then there's one more room. We go down here. I haven't added anything new to this. Um, I will eventually as the game updates. Alright, so I added actually four things here. And you see I have a new ghost named Blair. Um, I added the rose tinted window, the coal rug, the hot desk, which is the table right here, and then the gramophone. The gramophone is what attracts Blair when you go through the quest. Um, it has you do all that. It didn't have me... Um, it didn't have me do the coal rug and the hot desk. Really, I just, I saw this rose tinted window and I wanted a whole room to match with it. So I did those on my own. So if you go to conjuring and you go to fire, you'll see them. So this is actually a quest. That is a, this is a quest that you must do. Um, but then I did these to, um, match the room and the, I, oh, it's not the hot desk. It's the idea sparking desk. Which one was the hot desk? Could have sworn it was called hot desk yesterday. Whatever. It is that. <laughs> and, oh, this is the hot seat. That's probably where I saw it. So I don't have the hot seat yet. I do still need to make that. So... That will be for the next video when this game is updated. But yeah, so essentially um, the biggest thing in this video to remember is to make sure you have the proper inventory space before even starting on the postcards. And if you don't know how to sell something, what you do, like I'll take these, you click, your, you click the nightshade and you move it to the garbage bin. You delete an item from your inventory. Okay. There you go. I got space. Alright, so that's what you do, but only do it with stuff that you can live without, like I can live without Wolfsbane. I don't need that. But the other things are pretty important. So you keep the ones that you know you're, you're going to need. If you find the truffles around the middle part, you don't need those yet. So you can sell those. Or throw them away. Whatever it is, you know, you can do it. So yes, so that is the video. That is how to do everything. I hope you guys have fun and play this game. It seems long and hard, but it's really not. And um, as you can see in the bottom right of the screen, it does say work in progress. It's an early build of the game and all content is subject to change. I found this game really early, but for them to have a game that looks like this, plays like this, this early... I know that there's only great things to come from this game. So definitely come check it out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.